Hello and welcome back. So for this exercise, we are going to use a basic bodice with ease attached. I've explained ease in a previous video, so this is my original bodice set. I've added a little ease just to make it wider and a little ease. So when we're making something dartless or removing the darts, it helps if there's some extra ease. You cannot be skin tight. Now, first thing I wanted to point out is to remove the darts, you can simply just X the darts out. Forget this, forget this. Remove the darts, sew it, and you're fine. But the issue is, for instance, with the front, all the extra fullness is from the bust down. Meaning, if I were to sew it like this, I'll end up with something that is fitted here and sort of a line or flared here. What we want to do is maybe, or better yet, distribute the excess here all over there's so many ways to do this but i'm just going to show you the way i like to do it so first as i said you need this with some ease added already i added uh two inches at the bust and i added one inch at the waist that's basically the ease i added here this slight ease at the neck and the shoulders just to give some room nothing serious details are on the website where i explain this now, before I start, this is not absolutely necessary, but I always like to make sure I have enough room for my front and my back. Once I've determined that, I'm going to square a line straight down. Okay, so I've squared the line that I'm going to use. Okay, we've traced it out. So for the quick adjustments, we want to, I basically want to distribute this equally on the front and the back, meaning I want to use exactly a quarter of my bust and a quarter of my waist. So first of all, I'm just going to square a line, the bust line. By ignoring the darts, let's forget there are any darts there, we don't need that. Now, for a quarter of the bust, my bust was 41 inches. I added two inches ease, that's 43. A quarter of 43 equals 10.75. So I have to make sure here is 10.75. Mark that. With the waist is the same thing. I can just Make my calculations, my waist is 34, uh, one inch ease, it is 35, one quarter of 35 gives me 8.75. So I'm making sure the waist is 8.75 plus the dart that is already there. So that's okay. Once I'm happy with the measurements, so the waist is okay. So I'm just cross checking. So the one I won't carry it, is, so the waist is a quarter, plus the dart is still included, and then the bust is a quarter. I'm just going to join it to make a new line. This is the back. All done, just moving on. Now. now we're going to copy this back and use it to do the front. 
Okay, I've traced the back. I'm using the back because the back doesn't have a bust line or anything or bust to worry about. It just makes things easier. So now that I've done that, I'm going to take my front and use it to just make some quick corrections. Basically, I want to align the shoulder and the center. Like this. And like the shoulder and the center. I'll stop somewhere here, then I'll use my curl ruler. You have the side already, we we'll ignore that. Note where the waist is starting. And that's basically it. Okay, and then we'll blend to the waist. So if you want to make it a dress, we're just going to extend this to our hip line. Start from the waist. You're going to put in your hip depth plus ease. Hip. Now the hip, we do the same thing here. And that's it. Now, this still has some shape, but it's Zeus. That's why you should remember, it still has some shape, but it's Zeus. Another thing you can do, you can leave it like this and then make your adjustments on all of that. But there are other things you can do. I can still extend the waist. Now here you can still make it looser. Maybe I'll add half an inch to the waist. Half an inch to the waist. Bring that out and then still soften this. A little just. Blend that. So you can still have a softer line on the side. So this guy still be a softer line going down to the hip. That's okay. And alternatively, you can just 
Bro. Straight down. So now it's loose. The important thing, you can shape the waist any how you want. But remember, whatever you do to the front, you have to do it to the back. So you have to do the same thing and blend your back down and all that. So you can leave it like this, you can shape it. But the important thing is you've removed, you've added ease, you've removed the darts. The dart excess is still in there. There's still the dart excess here. There's still the dart excess here. There's probably one in here somewhere. There's still the dart excess here too. But we're not going to use it. We're not going to sew it. So this is overall a loose fitted garment. When it comes to darter skirts and darter trousers, it's exactly the same thing. If I wanted to make a skirt with no darts, already you can see here, I'll just ignore the darts and sew it up. Maybe I'll put an elastic band and I might even just widen the waist, add some ease, straighten it out. So you do the same thing. You can add ease, ignore the, the darts and that's it. It is dartless. There's nothing too complicated with skirts. The same thing with trousers. If you wanted to make it dartless, ignore the darts. You can even just pleat here instead of make it, sewing it up as a dart. And when you do that, you can also widen the waist. With trousers, you want to widen the waist on the side, not on the center front. You're going to widen it here, just slightly. You're going to widen it here, just slightly, and continue. And you can make it wider. So I can make it wider, I can ignore the dart, and then it is dartless. The legs, you can either widen or shrink it, but always remember, you widen it at the same measurement. So if I go half an inch, 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 and you do the same thing for the front, half an inch, 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 and the same thing at the ankle. The same increments, you go in half an inch, half an inch, or go out half an inch, half an inch. Always to keep the balance and the shape of your pants. So that's all about making things dartless. It's not too complicated. Making things dartless is really just a case of, oh, I want to make something loungy or casual, and I'm using non-stretch fabric. So you now have to think about what do I do with the darts? That's just really the whole point. So, all right, thank you for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye.